accounting principle. Let me just brief you in on what's happening here. We are dealing with vehicle number plate codes of which we have three letters that are followed by three Ds. Let's go through the conditions we have. All letters except E, G and O can be used and no letter can be repeated. So let's make sense of that. We have 26 letters in total. E, G and O cannot be used. So that is 26 minus 3 which is equals to 23. So we are only left with 23 letters that we can use. And then the next condition, no number plate could can start with a vowel. What are vowels? A, E, I, O, and U. We have five vowels. And from our first condition, E and O cannot be used. So we are only left with three vowels. So let's just write it down that we have three vowels. And then the third condition, all digits can be used and each digit can be repeated. So the digits can be repeated, but no letter can be repeated. As you can see there, no letter can be repeated. Let's look at the first question, 11.1. Counting principle is very unforgiving. You need to be thinking of all possible situations, all possible scenarios, all different ways of which you can count. So 11.1, how many vehicles can be assigned a number plate code according to this system? So in the first position, we need to respect our second condition. Our second condition is that no number plate can start with a vowel. So without the vowels in the first position, we can have 20 possible options. We are left with 23 letters, but we are not supposed to use any of the three vowels that are left. So we only have 20 letters that can occupy that first position. Let's come to the second position. Out of 23 letters, we have used one letter. Now we are left with 22 letters. So the second position can be occupied by one of the 22 letters that are remaining. And then the third position can be occupied by one of the 21 letters that are remaining. And then in terms of the digits, from 0 to 9, we have 10 digits. And then repetition is allowed. So on the first position, we can have one of the 10. On the second position, we can have one of the 10. And also on the third position, we have one of the 10. Now it is just a matter of putting all of that in your calculator and you should get 9,240,000 vehicles that can be assigned a number plate according to that system that we have. Let's go ahead and look at 11.2. So 11.2. Well, before we do 11.2, I just want to make sure that you understand what this 9,240,000 means. This 9,240,000, it's our simple space. When we're calculating the probability of any other arrangement, we will divide by this 9,240,000. It is our simple space space let's look at 11.2 11.2 we are asked to calculate the probability that a number plate code chosen from the number plates in question 11.1 at random contains only one vowel and ends with an even digit so let's go ahead and have our spaces so the probability will be equals to one two three four five six positions and then we can divide all that by the sample space which is 9,240,000. Of our three conditions we have one more on this question. We need only one vowel. We need only one vowel and we know that our number plate cannot start with a vowel so that vowel cannot be in the first place it can be elsewhere but not in the first place so in the first place we're still choosing from 20 possible letters the 23 minus the three vowels that we are allowed to use and then let's come to the second position let's say for instance the vowel is on the second position how many vowels are we choosing from we're choosing from three vowels because e and o are removed right so multiplied by three i want you to think of something 
the words are used. Let's say for instance, in counting principle, there's no instances we want to be 100% accurate. But don't worry about that. Let's let me sort everything out first and then I'm going to correct that. The last position from the 23 letters that we are allowed to use, we have exhausted one, two. So we are left with only 21. So should we put uh, 21 in this position? No, we cannot because our condition is that we only have one vowel, right? So if we've used one vowel on the second position, then on the third position, we cannot place a vowel there anymore. So we are only left with 19 letters we can put in that position. So we have 19 letters on the third position. Now let's come to the numbers. Our only condition is that the last digit is even. So that is zero, two, four, six, eight. That is five. So five possible Ds can occupy the last position. Repetition is allowed. So here we can have 10 and here we can have 10. Now let's come back to this vowel that is right here. Well, we only need one vowel, but it cannot occupy the first position. It can occupy the second or the third. So it can either be here or here. There's two arrangements. There's two possible places where it can occupy, where it can be. So we need to multiply all these by two because that vowel doesn't necessarily have to be on the second position. It can also be on the third position. So multiplying by two counts for that possibility. So now the probability will be equals to. Now it's just a matter of putting all those numbers in your calculator and you shall get 19 divided by 154 or 0 0.12.